to the emergency room I go. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be in the hospital. I'm nervous. But I'm trying to remain calm. And the nurse said, you don't like hospitals, do you? And I'm thinking, no, of course I don't like hospitals. Hey guys, yes, I have on clothes. It's just this kind of dress and I know that I'm looking an absolute hot mess, but I mean, it's a hospital, so I mean, that's to be expected. And um, they started um, the line in case I need an IV. Um, yeah, they started the line. They've already done an EKG for my heart. Um, and then they um, had to draw blood to check my CBC, my electrolytes, my hemoglobin, and my heart function and things like that. Um, so she just came in and I'm usually a hard stick or a hard poke. So um, she had to call for backup to have somebody else um, stick me for blood. And in the past, um, they have put, they have drawn blood and they've started an IV in my breast. Um, in my foot, in my hand, because that's how hard it is for them to find a vein. So, yeah. But this time, it's just right here. Um, oh, I'm just getting like a notification, an Instagram notification. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Um, and I have on, I just pulled on. I, I have like this really long... Uh, skirt that I turned into a dress so yeah um I've just I started well I've had some I, you know every time when I go to the hospital I always have anxiety issues because I'm scared to go to the hospital I'm scared I'm super scared to go to the dentist um but anyhow I was just thinking there's no point though and having all this dizziness and at least not getting it checked out. So, yes, um, they took my blood pressure. But before I came here, I took my blood pressure medication. But it was still 160. I don't know the diastolic number, but it was the top number was 160, which is still elevated. But normally when I come, it's like 174, 180. So, yeah. But anyhow, I was just... Letting you guys know the um, hospital. Um, oh, I'm getting a, I'm getting a text. Um, I'm getting a text from my son. He's like, "Are you okay?" Um, so, what was I saying? <laughs> um, yeah. So, hospital chronicles. Um, it's better to just get things checked out. Um, they suspect it could be my hemoglobin, but I'll let you guys know. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you guys. I'm sorry you have to hang out with me in the emergency room, but I mean, like I said, I'm going to be bringing you guys a lot more real vlogs. If you don't, if you don't mind, but this is life, you know, you have the ups and downs. Plus, to be honest. It helps me cope with being scared to be here, you know, if I can like, um, you know, just like film and talk to you guys, then it helps um, as well. So, yes, I am nervous. I'm waiting for them to come in the room and tell me what is going on. Um,
I don't want to be here. I didn't want to be that person that's just sitting around dizzy when I can literally, you know, just be brave and be mature about it and just go to the hospital, make sure everything's okay. Um, instead of just sitting and sitting, you know, at the house, just wondering like, okay, what's going on um, and everything. And, um, you know, my son was really worried about me. Well, you know, all of my kids were worried about me. So I'm like, uh, okay, I need to set a good example and get up to this, you know, hospital and get checked out. It's literally the middle of the night. And the staff here is so, so good. They have a great sense of humor. They're really nice, which is putting me at ease. There's my raggedy little purse. And I brought a shawl. Yeah, and I look like a mess. I have like, I think, lint on my face. Um, yeah. Hi guys, so I am in the emergency room. And um, yes, I look a hot mess. But that's okay because when you're not feeling well and you're in the hospital, that's to be expected. Um... They started me on and I, well, they put the line in in case I need fluids, um, but they are drawing blood. Um, the doctor's going to check my heart. Um, they did an EKG, but now he wants to do labs to check, um, to do a CBC. Yeah. Um, he's going to check my hemoglobin and then um, my heart. And I think he said electrolytes and things like that just to um, get some answers as to why I'm so dizzy.